guys, welcome back to my channel, She of Three Angels. Look, no sunglasses, face to face, gotta love it. Um, just got back from church a little while ago and um, I was on the hunt um, for something specific today and something I actually gave up looking for, I actually found today. So let's go ahead and dig into the goodies. So this is gonna be my Dollar Tree haul it is huge, so I may have to break it up, just letting you guys know. Let's go ahead and start with the health and beauty and kind of get that out of the way because that seems to be the majority of everything that I got. So I have been seeing everybody haul these, the Soft Whispers Body Wash. I got mine in the Cucumber Green Tea. Um, I know that they had the Pomegranate Verbena out there, but I took a sniff test and didn't like it so much so I just went with one of these to try it out and see if I like it if the girls and I like it so um, just got one and I have been on the eternal search for these the pure and natural shampoo it is the rosemary and mint and I also found the conditioner so Senseless actually did a empties video on this and highly recommended them. So I found five of the conditioners. Actually, I think I found six of the conditioners. One's already in the shower because I started using it. I couldn't wait. And then I found um, three of the shampoos. So I need to find some more of the shampoos. That was what I was looking for specifically today. So I got these. And I have also seen Stephanie using the skin nutrition when she is actually doing her skincare. She doesn't use the other two to three, two and three step, um, but I did pick them up for myself because I wanted to give them a try. So there's one, two, and three. So I went ahead and picked up all three of them. And I also saw Lynette, uh, Cheaply Chic, and she has recommended these Bolero products. So I found two of the masks. This one is a Dead Sea Minerals and it's detoxifying. So I'm not a big huge mask person, but I wanted to give them a try because she recommended them. And I got the papaya and honey. This is the repairing one. Um, I'm noticing, and I think a lot of women maybe my age, um, I don't know if this is an Arizona thing or if it's me, but my skin's getting a lot drier during the summers or in that transition. So I'm hoping to use this mask and maybe rejuvenate everything in there. Then my Dollar Tree, when they get these in, they're gone, they're gone. So I found the two hand creams. This one is tea tree and sandalwood. And this one was vanilla and orange. So I'm gonna give those a try. I also found in the Bolero, the body scrub. If you can see that, and the body cream. So I went ahead and pick up one on each of those to try them. I also have seen Stephanie from Thimbalina Random Girl. She does her morning routines, the get ready with me, and um, I see that she wears a headband similar to this, but it's all cream. So I did see that our Dollar Tree did get them in, and I wanted to try it and see if that works for like getting ready in the morning or washing my, my face at night. So I picked up one of those. And I also picked up the retinol cleansing cloths. I haven't gotten those before. I've gotten the pink package and kind of dealt with the quality of the removal on the products. But a lot of the, the women out there are recommending this. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a try. And I did find the Milani eyeshadows. I only picked up one because I've got a lot of makeup that I don't use and I've just gotta stop spending my money on stuff that I need to use. 
So I picked up this one in this really pretty rose color. Um, it says it's a gel powder eyeshadow, so I'm curious to see how that works. And I think Jilly Bean, she highly recommended these because she bought them in the stores at the regular price, and I think they were around 5 or $6. So she was really surprised to see these at the Dollar Tree. So it's a pretty rose color. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm getting a little bit of a reflection there, maybe that. But it's a rose color. And for work, I went ahead and picked up one of these mirrors for my locker. I need one. I don't have one in there. And usually when I go to work, I'm taking a shower and letting my hair dry. And then up it goes. Because when you're dealing with patients, you just you don't want your hair in your face. and Especially with the stuff that I do. But we won't go there. So I got the mirror. And I did pick up some of these Huggies wipes because I use them for crafting. Um, I do Bible art journaling, which gets kind of messy sometimes, and um, it's these are really good for cleaning up the mats and cleaning up the glue off your fingertips and stuff. So I just I grabbed another package of these, and my husband was with me when we went shopping, and he picked up two of the boxes of the Assured ibuprofen. Um, if you remember in one of my previous videos, I mentioned that they're going on a high adventure Boy Scout camp or to Louisiana, they're going to be rowing kayaks down the river, hopefully not getting eaten by the alligators, but he wanted to pick up two of these. Okay, um, and then I did find the candles. This is Merlot. I've heard that the throw on these are really good. Um, I will be doing a review on these candles with the little wooden wicks. I have um, three of them that are empty, but I wanted to get this one. This one was lavender vanilla, and I thought this would be good for like the bedroom just to kind of calm me down like when I go to bed or if I'm crafting. It's nice to burn a candle and just get into the whole crafting part of it. And as you can see, my craft corner behind me, my wonderful husband. So um, I kind of wanted to come to you live from the craft corner. So, um, but yeah, you can see my board behind me. Um, I do have some more stuff. It's down here. So let's go ahead and dig into those bags as well. Now we're getting into a bag of like house products. And that's kind of where the candles bring that in. Uh, so let me grab that bag. And I think there's food in here. So, um, I did see Trisha, mom of two boys, she hauled this, and I think K is for Karen, also hauled this, and I guess she uses it on everything. Um, so we're going to go ahead and give this try. I think my husband's already used it. I just went and grabbed it from the counter because I wanted to show it on my haul. And we go through Parmesan cheese like crazy, so if I can get it for a dollar, that's great. So we got some grated Parmesan cheese. And I picked up these little things of the hazelnut spread, kind of like the Nutella. And I think that there is seven ounces in here for a dollar. I thought that was pretty good. So I bought three of them for my kids. Um, one each, they put it in their little snack basket, and once it's gone, it's gone. So they each got one. I stole my son's because it was still on, on the table, but the girls already put theirs away. So this was the hazelnut spread. Hopefully they'll like it, so that way I only have to spend a dollar on it. For each of them, of course. And of course we were hungry the day that we went shopping, and as you can see, I didn't even crack into it. The cl classic hummus by Bumblebee. So there was some crackers in here and a clack, a can, a clack, a clack, a can of the classic hummus. And I didn't even open it. It's still in the container. I guess I found something better to eat. And we did pick up some tortillas, as Stephanie calls them, tortillas. So we're anxious to give them a try. The El Portal flour tortillas, soft taco size. Those make good breakfast burritos, the smaller size. 
and I talked my husband into the French fry seasoning. I don't know why we got it, but you know, we like to make those country fried potatoes, tater tots, um, not very often French fries, but I figured we'd give it a try. And then we got the yellow rice that everyone's been hauling. We have never tried it before, but I wanted to give it a try, so I told my hubby that it came highly recommended by you guys. So hopefully we'll like it. And our last food item is a bag of peanuts. So this is actually salted roasted peanuts and it's 10 ounces for a dollar. And I know I saw this at Walmart, a little bit bigger of a bag, a little bit more money. Um, I didn't do like an ounce comparison, but they did have these at Walmart. Okay, and on to household products. This is a fun bag. I think most of it's actually my husband's, but some of it's mine. I did find the wipes, the window wipes. I know I've seen everybody haul them, and I got two bags of them in here somewhere. And we picked up some batteries, double A's and triple A's. We got a bunch of those because we go through the batteries really fast. Um, I'm sure that if we spent a little more money, we wouldn't go through them fast. But for a dollar, you get eight batteries, and that's not a bad price. So, um, my husband found a hamburger press. Actually, we might be using this tonight because we're having grilled hamburgers and grilled hot dogs for dinner so it's a good thing I'm doing this video now I can use it and then we bought two of these storage bags we like to store like our winter clothes in these bags or our summer clothes in these bags uh, they go up in the attic until the season changes and we pull them down so we got two boxes of the extra larges and I think there's two extra large bags in here And we picked up one, two boxes of the double XL large bags, and there's only one in here, but it's a really decent sized bag, and it works really well. So um, over time, the the zipper or the the zipper part um, actually does wear out, and it does. Of course, in Arizona, it's going to heat and rot and get kind of not wanting to stick anymore. But we got two of those. So here's my other bag of, of window wipes. I had to get some painter's tape, so I got two of those. I use these in my craft and in my Bible art journaling. It's a good way to, to mask off things that you don't want to paint over or leave as a, as a white background. So I got some of those. More batteries. That's what happens when the hubby goes with come home with more batteries than I probably need. Oop, that doesn't go in there. That goes somewhere else. I gotta show that to you later. Um, and then we found these two gallon bags. So, um, hubby was looking for these for the Swamp Base um, High Adventure Camp and didn't even realize that they made them, but they make two gallons and they make a two and a half gallon one, but the two and a half gallon one has that zipper and he doesn't like that. He doesn't want to mess with it. He doesn't want it to break. So he picked up one box of these and we're probably going to be getting quite a few more boxes of these because they will be packing their clothes in these. So, so we got one box of these. He picked up some light bulbs. And I picked up this. I had to laugh because one of my other girls um, uh, hauled one of these. And I think she did the coffee cup one. I think it was Stephanie who hauled the coffee cup one. And I wanted to get the coffee cup one. But um, I'm a chicken person, so we went ahead and got the chicken one. This is the one that my husband liked. And last but not least in this bag, I have these mesh laundry bags. Um, they come 
These ones are small. They're a little bit small. They're kind of like your dirty clothes bag, the one that has the springs on it that you can get at the Dollar Tree. But my husband was hoping that these would work for when they go on their Boy Scout camps and stuff because they hang their Class A uniforms. And he wanted something to put the neckerchief in, like those small things that, um, so he doesn't lose them. Um, so he found this one first and he thought that this would work really well. It has a zipper on it. But when we went to another Dollar Tree, he found this mesh laundry bag, like this. And this one is smaller and it ha it looks like this so this is what it does and it has a zipper and so what I'll do for my boys is I'm gonna find probably some white ribbon or some ribbon or something and make like a little loop here so they can hang it on their hanger with their class A's so there was three of these in one package so he was like Score! Well, I'm at about 16 minutes on this one. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end this one for now. I've got another handful, maybe two more videos coming up. So um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed and want to see more of my videos, go ahead and click the subscribe. I gladly respond to positive comments or positive feedback. So um, I will see you in a few. Bye. Oh,